Meeting to order. Um, we do have a quorum. Uh, take a motion to approve the agenda in the minutes. So moved. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion will carry. Uh, Rick Brum on there this morning? Yes, he is. He's got yeah. a fancy background. Uh, uh, he's got to be my background. So, <laughs> hey, uh, just a little update. Mark called this morning and said some of the bridges were slippery, and we sent the trucks out, and I said, tread lightly on the salt because um, it seemed like it was getting better. I talked to the foreman in Mitchell County here and things weren't icy over here. So there must be a line kind of over the Western part of the county. So they're out doing a little bit of spreading, um, hopefully not very heavy. Um, so that being said, uh, still dealing with, uh, you know, trying to shape roads up here before it freezes um, and the wind tower, wind towers are hauling some heavy loads. I was out, um, Friday, they were hauling one of their big cranes just to double check on uh, how their bridging uh, techniques were working over some box culverts and things like that. So, um, so I see Dan just sent a text that the, or a message that A38 was an accident on A38 hit the guardrail. So we're out doing what we can. Um, I turned in some bridge plans for 350th yesterday. So that box culvert is progressing um, and the the paving plans were turned in last week or last month but they're get put on this month's um, thing for 105 like I said but we still got to figure out funding um, if we can't figure out funding we can always pull it but they're they're moving along as as though we have the money to do something so um, that's all I've got for you I'm still working at home until I get my test results back but even then I think we're supposed to stay isolated or uh, quarantined for 14 days. I don't have symptoms yet, so we'll just see how that all works out. My son still does. Um, play it by ear, I guess. Sounds good, sounds like a safe plan. Well, there's a lot I can do from home with a computer and a phone, so uh, as long as everybody else is staying healthy, the office should still be able to operate and we should still be able to do what we need to do out in the, out in the roads, so. So I've got for you this morning. If you've got questions, just go ahead and answer, ask them. I don't think so. No. Nope, I don't have any either today. So we'll check out that A38. Like I said, we're out trying to throw some salt down on some icy spots. Yeah, it'd be right in that line. So that's where yep, it probably would be. Yep. Right by the interstate. All right. Thanks. I'll stick around if you got questions. Thank you. Yeah, uh, that's A39. Okay. Right. I just know it's 39. 839 is 838. 838 is just 4. Joyce Kent's road. 400. Or 410. 410. Yeah. Road between Joyce and Kent's. That's 838. Yep. Yeah. Oh. That's yeah. a bridge. I'm going to say, I, I want a 105 bridge. And I just barely stepped on the accelerator. Right now. Yeah. So I yeah. couldn't really see it. It looked like it was wet. But it was all right, uh, drainage. See, we have some stamped warrants. Come through, correct? Oops, I what do you got there? Too much. Somebody was all part of it. There should, there's a stack of them there. Yeah, that was one And checks, too, I think. Hmm. You just need those two up onto those clips. Uh, I think. Yeah, stay in Thirty-six thousand nine hundred thirty-two dollars total for that one. Uh, that's both. There's sheet oh, that okay. they both tallied up the same. Okay. So this must be the, or this is the invoices here of everything, and this is the stamp warrant. So, okay. take your motion to approve the stamp warrant for drainage claims. So moved. I'll second that motion. Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion will carry. There it is. Right in the end of the day. So I'm going to sign right. This is just the invoices. And, yeah. That catch it.
Okay, and then regular claims. Any questions on those, Mark? No, I didn't see anything. I didn't either. I make a motion to approve the claims. All right, there's a motion to approve the claims. I'll second that motion. Uh, any other discussion? All favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, any reports? Sure. 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 Motion to approve the report. All right, there's a motion to approve the report in the sheriff's office. I'll second that motion. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion to carry. Uh, favorable eligibility salary changes. Nope, and nope, but I'm going to use them quick. Okay. Dan said you have them. So we'll be seeing one in the day. Kirsten, Kirsten, yeah, you know, yeah. yep. Thought that maybe, maybe the next week. Then. Marcus uh, is leaving the server account. Yeah, yeah. in the next few days. Yeah, it's somewhere in here. Yep. for five months. There's still four. Okay. The uh, 2020 general election canvas. We should be able to run through this. You got to go through the whole. Mm -hmm. You have you have the canvas. You have the abstract. Okay. I have the numbers from the machines. Okay. okay. So I have. Start with the president. Yep. Good. There should be four thousand four hundred eighteen votes total. Right. Four years. Mm, that's right. on, yeah, that's on that one. That one is, you'll have the under votes and over votes. And oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so then. So that's without. Without. Yeah. So you're, you're going for the same. Okay. But you'll be able to follow. There. That. Right. Okay. So there was 1596 for Biden and Harris. 2738 for um, Trump and Pence. Eight for Roke Rocky. Rocky. Yeah. Um, eight for Don. Mm -hmm. One for Ricky. Seven for Howie. 38 for Joe. Four for Brock. 14 for Kanye. Mm -hmm. Four right ends. 15 under votes and three over votes. Yeah. Okay. U.S. Senator. Yours will show a total vote of 4,377. Yep. Teresa Greenfield, 1803. Ernst, 2425. Rick Stewart, 98. Suzanne Herzog, 46. Yeah. Right ins, 5. Under votes, 56. Vote votes, 3. U.S. Representative, District 1, um, you'll show 4,308 for a total. Yep. Abby Finkenauer, 1,669. Ashley Henson, 2,633. Brighton, 6. And you'll have under votes of 20, 124, over votes of 4. On um, State Senator District 26, <coughs> You'll have 4,332. Um, Deb Sharper, 1401. Layla Brown, 2926. Right ends five. You'll have under votes 102 and over votes two. Um, 
total votes for state representative district 51. Um, we'll have 43.50 for total votes. Um, 121, 1,221 for Dane Gorniak. Um, 3,123 for Jay and Bloomingdale, six write-ins, 8,500 votes, one vote. Maybe some At some point, yeah. Yeah. I'll come back. Just Yeah, and then I got another stack too. Mm -hmm. for Dan. I thought there was a dancer. Okay. Um, total votes for Fourteen eleven, um, one thousand one hundred ninety eight for dairy, two hundred and thirteen for um, write ins, one hundred and twenty nine hundred votes, zero or no, one hundred twenty nine, yeah, hundred votes and zero over votes. Sorry, I'm out of order. And that further breaks down. Mark at or two Oh, did you have all the? Let's switch. I got all the. Sorry. It, yeah, okay, we'll go to the. Yeah. yeah stay where you're at, and uh -huh. I'll, I'll jump on mine. I need to go to the Supreme Court because they did all the state and federal stuff right. first in that one. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Which I'm on the right page. Jeff, um, Christopher McDonald. No. Where is she? Oh, they're out of order. Okay. Um, 3490, um, 2,661 yes, 829 no, and 946 undervotes. Who's your next one? Yeah, Edward. Oh, okay. Um, 4,000, or 3,493, 
3,663, 26, 44, 719, 1072, 1. Question. 3,881, 3, 982, yes. 2,899, no. 554. Both under votes and one over vote. <laughs> Okay, now that's us. I can get back there. So, total was 1411. Very handsome, 1,198. There were 213 write-ins, 129 undervotes, zero overvotes. And the, the only one that you need to report as Mark had 205, and you'll show a scattering of eight yep, for 213. Okay. Water, 4,070, 4,008, 62 write-ins, 366 undervote, zero overvote. Sheriff. 1,000, or 4,414, 4,914, 3,990, 124 write-ins, 321 under, one over. Barton Township, 106 total, 105 for Curtis Barts, one write-in, 1,400 votes, zero over votes. Bar Bristol Township, 149 total, 147 Doug Arneson, two write-ins, 20 undervotes, zero overvotes. Brookfield, 130 votes, 126 for Bill Inlaw, four write-ins, 13 under, zero overvotes. Danville Township, 144 total, 141 for Brett Bakehouse, three write ins, 16 undervotes, zero open votes. Deer Creek, 89 total, 82 for Mark Davidson, seven write ins, 12 undervotes, zero open votes. Okay, um, Earl Township. There were 205 for Dwight Bruns and zero write-ins, 18 undervotes, eight overvotes. Grove Township, 105 total, 102 for Lois Lawler, three for three write-ins, 15 undervotes, zero overvotes. Heartland, 134. Douglas Wallen got 133. There was one write in, 16 undervotes, zero overvotes. Kansas Township, 125, 124 for Larry Foley, one write in, 11 undervotes, zero overvotes. Lincoln Township, 200 votes, 200 for James Doble, zero write ins, 23 undervotes, zero overvotes. Silver Lake Township, 129, Mike Thompson, 129, zero write-ins, 15 under, zero over. Um, total votes, 184 for Union, 181 for Ron Bailey, three for, or three write-ins, 22 under votes, zero over votes. On water conservation, there were 9,022 votes, 3088 for Harlan Helgeson, 3039 for Dennis Meyer, 2854 for James Doble, 41 write-ins, 4274 undervote, and 12 overvote. County Ag Extension. There were 11,511 votes, 
total. 3088 for Peter Julesa. 2888 for Allison Kroll. 2636 for Carla M. Larson. 2866 for Jessica Lutz. 33 write ins. 6,205 undervotes and 28 votes. And that should be it. So I'll just have you sign everything after instead of taking a party. Part and we can we back up to um, payroll eligibility. Yeah, yep. Do we need to approve anything on that or just no? Okay, not a point. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, do have payroll eligibility for Kirsten Lundo of the Sheriff's Office. Motion to approve the payroll report. For motion to approve. I will second that motion. Any other discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion to carry. Uh, still waiting on the road vacation, correct? As far as I know, right? Yeah, I have to get more info on that, I believe. I uh, wonder if Beth Homeless has sent me a message. She is on a meeting this morning at 8.30. Um, he's working on RFI for the state. I guess I don't quite know if that is. Or oh, maybe. maybe. Mm -hmm. RFI. No. So, information. Information. Request, request, information. request for information. 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 Not quite sure that's for. Anyway, she said a uh, developer and an architect separate uh, yeah. interest in the interchange out there. Okay. So she sounds like she'd get more interest out there. So let's get that stuff done. Um, yeah. Journeys. Right. Yeah, there, Jeff. <laughs> She's uh, working on budget yeah. stuff. And um, our website should go live within the month, hopefully. Um, She's doing a lot uh, with the virus kicking back up. She's making sure she's doing a lot more stuff virtually uh, with people or whatever meeting she's able to. So kind of lay low, I think, which is, or at least not go out and be around a lot of people. In the bigger so, things, accelerated faster than we are. We're accelerating fast enough. So. Right. Um, but yeah, the. Uh, uh, that's good that we get some interest out there. Yeah, not at all. So, so we can kind of get that going better. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it takes time. But... Um, and I don't believe Jason is going to be on today. Jason. Um, work off that. He was waiting. He's got all the stuff done for our street lights as far as the engineering that they have to do, but their electrical engineer has been out. Quarantining, so he's waiting to get signature on that, and then he can get the prices and get that done. Okay. Um, he was going to send another email out to Jeff and to Boyd to see where we're at because they've got everything. Boyd does; it just needs to get. I think it's close. It just needs to get right. through the process. Yeah, that last little bit, and then we should have papers, whatever it is. Once that's done, and we get the prices, uh, street lights. We'll know where we're at. So, and he was the way he was talking. Um, there was no uh, contingency monies for spent, so we're probably coming in. He said 100, 150,000 under what good we planned on, which is a good thing. So, yeah. just be nice to get to that point where we can put a number on the lots sure. and uh, get them listed out to get the, the public hearings done so we can sell them. Um, planning and zoning, I did talk to Matt today over in Winnebago County. Uh, he was out of town late last week. Um, he's going to try to get a hold of me this week. And we'll meet up and talk a little bit. Um, he is interested. Once he found out it was just the three townships, yep. otherwise he kind of wasn't because of the whole county because mm -hmm. I think He's got a day job. He's he does some surveying or something 
Yeah. Um, land surveying, I think, is what he does. But but once I told him that, you know, and it's not too far from him anyways, it's that portion of the county. Um, he said he would be interested in talking, just on an as-needed basis type thing. So and I think that's what he is with uh, Winnebago. He's considered part-time, as-needed. Yep. So whenever they do have something come up, he just goes and takes care of it. So anyways, hopefully I'll get more out of him this week and be able to talk to him a little bit more. Good. Um, what was the pay? Just an outright. With, with, um... with with Jim, it was like eight or nine thousand dollars for the year. It was just he was given so much money every month or okay. every two weeks. But with with Jane, we just went by that that hourly rate, sure. and then I kept bumping it up from there. And um, she never she didn't turn in hours. I don't think. Right. I, I think she probably worked at a lot more than she gave herself credit for it yeah, right so i i think it should be something that's set but it, it's up to you guys right well, like a not to exceed hour you know so many hours i mean or something like that i mean if it's over hour you know it's yeah flat think, fee and all of a sudden he's full ball and doing a bunch of stuff yeah, right. Yeah. all right you just pay him a or certain <clears> county <throat> or something all right well, well, that comes into effect then we're then we're going to look into full-time that probably take on the flood stuff and make like a yeah, four, that's five, been four or five thing too. job, you know, yeah. if that does, if that would go, then we would, you'd have to make that into one job with about four or five different titles to cover, all, to cover all that yeah. little stuff that we need to kind of right. try to cover. So, but yeah, I don't know if we just set a base, you know, maybe like a base rate on it and then once we and, just do and figure that as an hourly or this is the hourly one if you get to that amount of hours yeah, and just start turning in we'll pay you hours. hourly after that do you know what winnebago pays them i don't yeah. i don't i don't know if, if you want per hour or email uh, call them find out. Carla, carla and ask her just shoot her an email and just see what they how they mm -hmm. pay them simple enough. i mean like i say we got to give a base i guess right. just to for the availability mm -hmm. you know and then like that is, is so many hours and once that's documented that if there's more than that you're kind of our on call and yeah. a lot of calls probably don't come to i'd say the thing is it's probably all just going to be mostly at development for a while because we should probably have better. something written up yeah when we go to offer something we should have it mm -hmm. set but, right so i guess we can figure that out too but and yeah. maybe he has a dollar in mind too that yeah. Yeah. right right <coughs> <clears throat> yeah he was kind of confused on the just the three townships. Mm -hmm. It's said that's all you got to worry about. But it's like I said, he sounded very interested after that. So hopefully I'll have more info for next week, and then maybe we can look at the job description and set up. Yeah, because I have no clue what, what the workload right. is. And I see that was advertised. Has there been any interest whatsoever? No. No. <laughs> no. Didn't think so. Otherwise, we probably would have seen that. But mm -hmm. okay. Um, department head discussion. I see Teresa said something about imagery. The imaging project. Yeah, imagery. She got invoices for that. Um, all the pictures of proof of completion. So you can turn that stuff into oh, November 13th. Yep. Oh, pushing it, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, get that stuff in because. Yeah, let me get that from WCDA. We don't want to lose that one. Um, any other department heads have anything? AJ just does the chair for the assessor's office. I just want to let you know I got 14 outs in. Ten of them were pretty good. We're right. going to narrow it down to six, and I'm starting today and then Thursday on, on the um, Jones position. Oh, sure. okay. So. Um, and then uh, obviously that ought to go through the conference board or not. Um, basically, no. It won't. You can. No. You can. Okay. I'll get something sure on that. Yeah, as long as I stay in budget. Yeah. That's yeah. What I mean. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, nope, that sounds good. Then do we have one coming up in December? Then. Time no, January. 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 Okay. And it was coming winter time. Budget time. Yeah. That's what Jackie wants to hear budget. Yeah. <laughs> so we all want to hear. Okay. Perfect. Um. See anybody else out there with any questions? The uh, the cyber part of the election went really well this year. There was not a lot of actionable stuff. And uh, hats off to Jackie for setting up her new election website. Uh, oh, like, that's nice. That's that, a nice website. That took a lot of traffic. This was a lot 
cleaner than it, you know, doing, mm -hmm. it was. I mean, it was just, mm -hmm. uh, did it, I mean, you looked at it, did a lot of people use it? Or at least look at yeah. it and do it? Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah the, the results on it, the metrics on it were fantastic. Right, good, exactly. I looked at it just when you mentioned I it, too. and I scrolled through it, and I'm like, wow, this is actually just user-friendly, simple, here's the questions you always wonder. Yep. And yeah, it's kind of nice. And I tried to push it out to like, I said, hey, city clerks, will you look at this and make sure that the information for the cities is right? And I pushed it out to the school and stuff like that. Right. So, I and also, I mean, something like that, hopefully the cities would put a link on their, their on their website to go to, you know, jump to ours and, and then they could just get on it from there if there's and a question. All, and all the forms are hooked up and everything. So good. People can get their own absentee ballot requests instead of getting right. millions of them in the mail. Right, maybe. Yeah, that probably won't end either. No. But they, they would have a more trust, voter trusted site and, if they'll yeah. follow it. We followed a lot of uh, social media traffic from that site too, so I thought it worked really well. The only the only issue we had was if you were on, and this is a weird one, if you had LTD broadband hmm. as your internet oh, provider, yeah, you said that. it wouldn't. It, it, they couldn't get to the site because oh. Cloudflare, which covers a lot of those, yeah, it's, it's the cybersecurity thing that, that we implemented this year, um, for some reason did not like that LTD broadband. But, and, and I can see why just because of the way it's set up. It's it, it's not one network. It's all these little right. micro networks put together. So, right. um, and, I, and I did apologize profusely to the gentleman and he was able to get on with, with 4G with his cell phone. But okay. it, it was just one of those weird things that, that popped up. But you, you get them all the first time, you're pretty lucky. So Yeah. It's like, yeah. And Neop Neapolitan Labs was awesome to work with. I cool. I didn't do very much. I, I just had to review a bunch of stuff, but mm -hmm. I, I was nervous about even pulling the trigger right now, but I right. thought it would help. So mm -hmm. I, I, I'm i glad I did, but no, that's good they, they did most of the legwork and they were very good to work with. Yep. And it's satisfying. I mean, the Secretary of State's office throwing the rules at us at the last oh, minute. I mean, it, it fulfilled a lot of those those requirements. So, mm -hmm. that nice of them. Yeah. Oh, hopefully, it's just, kind of awful. yeah, it was kind of short order or short notice, but at least yeah, you know, in the future great. now. I mean, for everything it's else coming up, it's yeah. going to really work out good. Hopefully. So, I'm glad it did. And keep getting things going. And we got to use Hava money for it. So. Yeah, good deal. Yeah, exactly. that's what it's for. Use it when it's there. Well, thanks to you guys for doing yeah. getting through this election. The girls upstairs and everybody else that helped. I mean, it's yeah. all the workers. workers that would actually come yeah. out when everyone yeah. was freaked out about COVID because we still had to vote people with COVID. I know. Yeah. And that just yeah. blows I saw my some, mind. Saw some car side stuff at Manly when I was in there. Um, it was well, there must have been ten or twelve people in there. I was there. It sounded like it was. Fairly steady, man. Did you, you know. see it with full gowns and everything, or was it just somebody that just needed assistance? No, I I guess I didn't pay attention to that. Yeah, there's that too. Uh, so. um, but everybody, you know, obviously was in there and keep your ink pen going through, and they were sanitizing pens. I mean, they were doing a great job yeah. that I saw. So EMA did fantastic too. Yeah. I mean, Mark followed us around and did all the PPE and stuff. Good. And, yeah, it was. And he kept me out of trouble with the computer stuff big time. Good. Yeah. <laughs> computers all worked okay, I'm assuming, yeah. for the most part. Yeah. We Nothing. really didn't have that many technology issues at all. Good. Which was a little. Rare occasion. Yeah. Story. yeah. <laughs> Bring one in a while, right? Uh, <laughs> this was the one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm glad this one only happens every four years. Yeah, no kidding. That's ridiculous. Then uh, the special then, that's March. You're open for March. Thursday. S word again. I was going to say. You're... Give me another week. <laughs> no, <laughs> so, no, I'll get it figured this, out. I, I just got to get the, I gotta get the um, calendar figured out. Yeah, but the, I, we can actually have it sooner. I just got to figure it out. Okay. To get the, I'm yeah. going to get it cranked out as quick as I can. Okay. No, that's fine. I finished up everything else. Yeah. Oh, and the sheriff also was it was crucial. Oh, yeah, yes, sorry. It was. I, I, I apologize. Yeah. Yes, he went above and beyond and got stuff out for me and the reserves got the stuff back that night and yes. Every everybody helped and it was very for delivery service. I thought the sheriff yes. was, was very yeah, I I it was I very prompt should. and yeah. Good. We should replace UPS and just do the sheriff. <laughs> we could do that. Yeah. Get them a bunch of bread trucks. <laughs> hey, away. a little more income for the purpose. county. Yeah. 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 Start a UPS station right outside. Yeah.
I like my UPS guy though. He always gets me my stuff. Well, that's yeah, good. he's pretty nice too. All right, uh, Supervisor Weekly, Mark. I just uh, had Iowa Workforce Development again last week, and we're we've got all our, I think all our stuff in order. We, it was a really short meeting for once. We were in and out of there in less than an hour, and uh, everything's falling into place real nice for us. So um, kudos to some pretty good leaders in that group. A couple guys really took on some things and, and got some stuff done. So we're in line. We're going to continue to have the weekly meetings here just to make sure everything is, but we've, at least we beat our date and, and we're, we're all okay that way. So um, and not that this was last week, but I did have a public health meeting yesterday. We kind of called an emergency meeting and or Dr. Seema called an emergency meeting and just uh, we'll be getting it on the website and we're putting a letter together. It'll be in the paper and stuff too. Just really encouraging people to, if you haven't got, get your flu shots because the hospitals don't need to be overwhelmed anymore with yeah, from what I understand, Mercy's pump full of COVID patients already. I'm sure Mayo is too. Um, and we don't need, you know, I don't people's beliefs or whatever, but it, it doesn't hurt. So we're going to be encouraging that along with, you know, continued social distancing and wearing masks and things like that when you're out in public places, just to try to try to lessen the severity of this stuff here. And, and uh, we, we truly want to keep our kids in school. That's another thing we're really focused on because, uh, Dr. Seamoth had talked to an educator that said it's, you know, nothing against homeschooling, that's not the issue here, but the, for the general public that's never done it, it's really messing up some kids because they have, there's no focus at home. You know? I, I, don't want to do it. I, I, I don't know how parents that both work would ever have any time anyway and to, to, to it do it work. properly. You know, you can't do it in the evenings, you can't do it in the mornings, you got to do it during the day, which affects you. So. Anything we can do, we you know we appreciate it. We can't mandate anything, but uh, that's where we were at. So, I do know Mercy's. I've heard they're like thirty three percent, third of their yeah. patient beds right now. Are right. Patients. Well, they're using. I heard they understand they're using. You know the NICU. I mean, or you know all the everything. They're, they're putting chlorine, people wherever they can get them. Feeds and yeah. They had it all set up, and then they went back to normal, and then they're going back to that again. So, so yeah. So anything to help is yep. people, you know, we, we just all need to do our part, I guess. So. Yeah, correct. Uh, there are some counties minutes. talking about going back to appointment only. <laughs> if that's what you got to do here, do it because, uh, you know, it just, it just make a standard, I guess. But <clears throat> we need to keep, we need to, you know, we need, we need somebody in every department. No, that I doesn't don't. mean we need to have public contact all the time either. So. I like my doors. I don't, yeah. I saw that. That's great. That's fine. Is that a, I mean, now probably isn't a bad time. Elections over, tax taxes are done. I mean, if I have to go to appointments, it wouldn't be a bad time to do it. Kind of yeah. slow it up for a few months until the next batch of taxes are due come March or whatever. But yeah, I think we'll see a bunch of counties going that way here in the next week or two. Now we're talking about rotating things. I mean, you can just if yeah. one person gets it in our office, we all got it. And I mean, that's just because we're so close. No, it's, it's, it's the same way all over here. So I mean, and yeah. I think we need to do the best we can to keep at least one person in the office every day. Yeah. With nothing else answering phone calls, you know what I mean? So. Well, and you guys could call it that we just keep the outside door shut. Do you want us to do that? If it is, we need to put it on the agenda for next week. Then, right? is, is it time for that yet or not? Is that what other counties are doing? That, uh, the Shutting discussions are out there. I, I think, think a lot will happen this week. Yeah. yeah. So well, I think we need that on the agenda for next week and we can talk about that more. Discussion. Because we're probably getting the aftermath of whatever people well, did for Halloween and Halloween, Thanksgiving is coming up, election. Christmas is coming Rallies, up, New Year's is coming up. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And Thanksgiving well, and the election, yeah. First. And the election. I mean, it, there was just a whole game in the last two weeks that, mm -hmm. you know, maybe it's something we need to look at because uh, employee safety is important. So yeah, let's just, let's put that on the agenda for a few discussion and we can Sorry, see what happens this, this week and what, what else is going around in our area because it's... But I do think we need to look at making sure that somebody's in every department whether it's one person or not. I don't think shutting down a complete department, yeah. you know, as far but as public if, contact, that's different. But, but people that are home need to be working. That yeah. too, absolutely. We've discussed that earlier. Yeah. And everybody's pretty well set up yet, right? I mean, they wouldn't take the much. Can we? Think. we can read the plug again. I tell you from my experience from last time, my employees and myself are very productive. I mean, not being interrupted. I did. So well, there's something to that. I know isn't there it? is. You can dig yeah. into projects and not be. Yeah. And you so can, I felt it was my, very productive. So. My wife has found that out working at home, even with our daughter, and, um, this summer. 
that she it actually showed it where she was more productive because she didn't have interruptions because she shares an office with a lady oh, yeah, and then you've talks, got everybody so. that works in that area walks by and somebody says hi you know yeah. she did not get those interruptions even with a six-year-old at home she was able to get more stuff done at home it's like it's weird but yeah. you know, they yeah. can get a lot done in real productive on zoom meetings too yeah <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm more productive with less people that are in the courthouse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, because you're not bouncing around. That's what <laughs> yeah, happens. we just stay in our corners. <laughs> well, we just have to be Matt's Joel. on the weekend. <laughs> Focus on the task at hand instead of the task that are coming at you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't have anything last week. I did have last night, 9 o'clock yeah. meeting. Uh, Zoom meeting, just kind of business as usual. Introduced their new director, Myrtle Nelson, which she's worked there for quite a few years, anyways. But cool. Um, and I did see in the newsletter they had uh, hired someone to replace Myrtle, but she wasn't. Um, she might have been on the meeting, but okay. she wasn't. I didn't Announced see her. Anyway. Yeah, um, but they did announce her in their their newsletter, quarterly newsletter that came out. But and they and I, or they had the yep. what, was it a cat cat grant or whatever the Something. the Northwood. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that's cool too. Yep. Yep. Yep, they didn't recognize that uh, in their newsletter. North, Northwood got the grant for the oh for the activity center. center. Was yeah. it four hundred okay. some thousand dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Twenty something, four thirty something like that. Yeah, right. something like that. Cool. They have real good, real good luck with that. So good. That's and, pretty good uh, grants at the moment. Right. A couple years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they did have a little Zoom retirement party for mm -hmm. Joe Myrie. So I miss that. he's on his. He's partially retired anyways. Like you said, he's on half days until December or something like that. So using up his time he had built up or whatever. So Good I see him out driving around with Pheasant Hunt a lot. So. Well, no kidding. Mr. Energy. Yeah. I miss yeah. So he was out he was out golfing this weekend. I was out the course. And it was nice out him and his must have been a grandson or something out there. So. But that's all I had. Got some more coming this week. Anything else for the agenda next week? Other than our discussion on the courthouse? Yeah. December 7th, month on our urban revitalization. That all got posted, I'm assuming, right? Yep. yep. Okay. In the newspaper, mailed to the people. Think we're good. Right. This is good to work with. Yeah, that's good. He's, yeah. Obviously, he just did one and he's good on that stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, if nothing else, then I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. I'll second that motion. All in favor, aye. 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 Media's adjourned. Thank you. Yep.